Hi, Jonathan Randazzo here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about warm-ups and my daily routine. In my opinion, a daily routine should consist of all the basics. Long tones, lip slurs, articulation exercises, high register, low register, you name it. The reason for this is you want to make sure that you're covering all the bases so that no matter what is thrown at you throughout the day, whether in a professional setting or in a school setting, you want to be ready for the task at hand. Think of a football player. They don't go to just the games and the practices. They're also on the track running. They're working out in the weight room, trying to gain strength and flexibility. And the same thing is true for trombone players. We need to make sure that we are constantly working on our accuracy, our flexibility, our strength. And all of these exercises will ensure that we are ready to play our music at the highest level. You could spend hours and hours working on an excerpt or a solo or an etude, but at the end of the day, if your fundamentals are not up to snuff, you're not going to be able to do it competently. This is why fundamentals are so important. Follow me now as I demonstrate and explain a variety of exercises in my daily routine, and you can follow along with the PDF at this link from my website. I hope you find it useful and maybe you can incorporate some of these exercises in your own routine. Part 1. Long Tones and Basic Lip Slurs For the long tone exercise, be sure to use varying dynamics to expand your dynamic range. Always strive for the best possible sound. A drone or tuner may be used to practice intonation. For basic lip slurs, Make sure they are practiced slowly, focusing on smooth transitions and airflow between notes. Part 2. Range Building For exercise 8, try to play with minimal embouchure movement. These should be practiced both tongued and slurred. The purpose here is to play every note on the trombone to build muscle memory and accuracy with the entire range of the instrument. Number 9 deals with the extreme high register. Go as high as you can comfortably, but make sure you allow your embouchure enough movement to hit these notes. Feel the embouchure stretch. Remember, these extreme high notes require more technique than muscle to produce. After playing in the upper register for a while, be sure to relax the muscles by working on your low register. I find that the false tone exercise works well to help with developing a solid trigger register.
Part 3. Soft Articulations Pick an Arbenz exercise as indicated in the warm-up sheet. Strive for clear articulations and resonance even though you are playing at a soft dynamic. Stay relaxed and use a slower stream of air. This can be practiced both short and connected. Part 4, Articulations, Scale Patterns and Dotted Rhythms. For this section, make sure your articulations are even by keeping your syllables the same throughout and having an even stream of air behind each note. The beginning, middle, and end of the note should be the same. I like to use a two-syllable as I find this points the tongue more and gives me a crisper articulation. Part 5, Slide Technique. In order to have proper slide technique, we need to make sure our shoulders are relaxed and that we have a smooth right arm. Glide the slide to the positions with mostly wrist action and articulate the note as you pass the position. By not stopping firmly in each position, this will ensure a smooth slide, making it easier to play fast passages while maintaining good coordination. Arben's exercises from the indicated section will help with this. Part 6. Slurs, Natural and Tongued. For a tongue slur, make sure the slide moves quickly between notes while blowing the air steadily through the slurred notes using a da articulation. For the natural slur study, be sure to use all alternate positions when possible in order to cross partials and create that natural slur. Use da e syllables on slurred notes to help facilitate a smooth slur. Part 7, Multiple Tonguing, Scales and Chromatics. These Arbenz exercises are for practicing your double and triple tonguing. Make sure you practice these slowly first in order to coordinate the slide and eliminate a tempo gap in your multiple tonguing. Pick a new key each day. Part 8, Interval Training. These exercises are extremely beneficial for accuracy, endurance, range building, and overall technique. Make sure this is practiced slowly at first to ensure accuracy. The first time should be slurred and then tongued on the repeat. Part 9, 
advanced lip slurs, and trills. These exercises are purely for flexibility and speed, eventually leading up to the trill. Make sure you allow enough jaw movement and be sure to use an ah-e syllable when slurring between notes. Always start with a comfortable tempo. Part 10, cool down. It is important to include a cool down at the end of every session in order to relax the embouchure and prevent it from becoming too tight. It is also a good opportunity to work on your extreme low register. This will ensure you are practicing in a balanced way. Please refer back to part two for additional low register exercises. Well, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you should have any questions, you can reach out to the Santa Fe Trombone Summit or myself at my personal website. And I hope to see many of you next summer in Santa Fe. Take care.